Welcome back to The Breakfast. Uh, press freedom in Nigeria is under attack, according to the Nigerian uh, Guild of Editors. The Guild is working against the passage of two bills to amend the law establishing the Nigerian Press Council and the, Na uh, the National Broadcasting uh, Commission. It says the provisions of the bill sponsored by a member of the House of Representatives are draconian. This morning, we're going to be quickly getting the position of the Nigerian Union of Journalists uh, from the president, uh, Mr. Chris Isuguzo. Good morning. Thanks for joining us, sir. Good morning. Good to see you this morning. Quickly, let's get your response to the bills. As there's been a lot of criticism uh, for the uh, establishment of the NPC and, of course, the amendment of uh, the NBC Act. What's uh, the response of the NUJ? Our position has been uh, the same. Very clear, unambiguous uh, from the outset. Uh, we were at the uh, public hearing uh, some time ago, and we made our stand known uh, to those who are uh, sponsoring uh, the so-called uh, uh, bill, uh, which uh, seeks to regulate uh, the Nigerian Press Council. And of course, that would uh, amend existing uh, act uh, establishing uh, the council. For us in the NUJ, uh, we feel that uh, that bill is, uh, uh, is uh, obnoxious, uh, is anti-people, is against uh, free press, it is intended to gag free speech, and uh, it is unacceptable uh, to us uh, we have asked those behind it to quickly uh, withdraw it in the interest of uh, our democracy. And I'm happy that last week, the presidency, through the uh, special advisor to Mr. President on media and publicity, Femi Additional, I watched the hands of the bill and, of course, uh, le uh, blamed the Minister of Information. Uh, for being behind it. And uh, last week, we also issued a statement asking the president to go a step further. It is not just enough uh, to say that uh, you don't know about the bill, you are not behind the bill. The government should go a step further uh, by calling the Honorable Minister of Information to order because we believe it is the same administration, is the same government, and if the leader of the government says he's not behind it. I wonder what uh, other members of the government should be doing uh, with the bill. Uh, that is one. Number two, we also felt that uh, before you come up with a bill of uh, that nature, which of course would ultimately uh, make impact uh, on, the, on the practitioners, you know, you must engage uh, the stakeholders you cannot be talking about such bill, and the Nigerian of journalists is not part of uh, the discussion at the discussion table. The Nigerian Guild of Editors were not, were not part of it at the discussion table. Uh, the leadership and members of the Newspaper Proprietors Association of Nigeria, EMPA, are not part of it. Then what deal are you talking about? So we've asked them uh, to quickly do the needful. As we speak, anyway, the uh, the Nigerian Press Organization, NPO, uh, made up of the AUJ, the Guild, and the NPAN. We have scheduled a very crucial meeting uh, to look at this whole thing, and we intend uh, to come up with uh, uh, a statement which all the leaders of these groups would uh, endorse. Okay. And that will be our official position on this draconian deal. Okay, so beyond the you know intention to dialogue and to put out a statement, what other actions you know can the media take regarding this? Um, you know, is it possible to seek redress in courts? Can they uh, you know write petitions against this? Just is there any intention to go the legal route to make sure that this doesn't see the light of day? Because we see that this is a part of the part, this is a you know part of the. Uh, um, stipulations in this act is that um, journalists can be jailed for up to three years or be fined for 10 million naira if they breach you know some of these uh, new rules so what really are the actions that the media plans to take against this bill 
Well, uh, this is democracy, and uh, things are done procedurally. You know, the first we have registered our, our opposition uh, to the bill. We also intend uh, to come up with a, a central position of uh, the stakeholders, which will be made public, and it will be also submitted uh, to the House of Representatives Committee on Information, you know, so that they know our position. Like but, in know, Criminals. We really apologize for the uh, quality of that audio there, uh, but uh, Mr. Oh, Mr. Isaac, so here's where, where we'll be drawing the curtains here. We apologize. We can't continue that conversation. Uh, we really lost you there. But hopefully we continue to talk about this. You know, let's see what steps, you know, the media in Nigeria as a whole want to take. He's talked about writing statements, dialoguing. So should we be looking at, you know, legal redress in court? Is there a possibility of, you know, these media associations, you know, going on strikes or protests? What really, you know, is the media going to do um, about these rules that have been described as draconian? Yeah. So thank you very much for coming on The Breakfast this morning. And yes, here's where we uh, draw the curtains once again. My name is Anita Felix and it's been The Breakfast on PLUS TV. And I am Osaogi Ogbon. Remember to join us on our social media platforms, Facebook and Instagram at PLUS TV Africa. Same with your YouTube channel. I am a Saudi Obama. See you.